grocery haul. You can see behind me, I have all sorts of goodies back there. I went to Kroger and to Aldi today. I went to Kroger first because I thought I could get better bargains at Kroger and I did. It was much better to go there first. I kind of compared when I got to Aldi and I got better prices at Kroger and that doesn't always happen. And then um, I had to go to Aldi because there was a couple things I could not get at Kroger. So I'm looking kind of like a drowned rat because it's rain and cold rain. So I'm glad to be home and ready for the weekend. So let's jump on into this grocery haul. All right, we're jumping into the haul here. This is everything that I bought at Kroger. I spent about $138, I believe it was, which is pretty good. And I saved $95 just by all the deals I had on my Kroger card and buying the in-store specials. I had a lot of really good things on my Kroger card that took off um, really good price on my, um, oh man, I am missing, hang on a minute here. I am missing some stuff. Okay, crisis averted. I found the missing items and I've added those here to my island. As I was saying, like I had $2 off $10 worth of produce, $2 off $10 worth of meat. I had just some really, I even had some freebies. I had some really good um, coupons today. So what you don't see here is a 24 pack of water that was actually free, just a freebie Kroger item that came to my um, email. And then this was also free, um, a Sargento cheese. So those were my freebies today. I will try to tell you about some of the sales as we're going along. I'll do the best I can without making this two hours long. Okay, also we have three 12 packs of sodas back here. I got a total of um, eight. It was by four and you got them for $12.88 for four of them. And that's when I do a stock up price, um, a stock up on soda when it's a really good price and that was a good price. And so they just go out in my fridge in my barn until we're ready to bring them in. So this will last a really good while. We do like soda, may not be the best thing for us, but we do buy soda, especially love Fresca. It's hard to find. And then this is a new one, the Mountain Dew, what's it called? Spark. I had one of them in the car, I stopped at Chick-fil-A and got some ice and had one of these. I don't know, it's not super flavorful. It's like a raspberry lemonade. It was okay. Um, anyhow, so not pictured are a total of, what did I say? Um, how many, <laughs> what did I say I got? I got eight of them. So five are already in the barn. Okay, do my math here. I have two Red Baron pizzas. These were on special for $2.77. You could buy five of them. I just picked up two. This was also a special, um, let's see, I think they were $6.97 for two and a half pounds. My goodness, they used to be a lot cheaper than that. But anyhow, you could get five of those. I picked up two. This was not a bad deal. I think I've bought this before, but not sure. This was $5.99. It's two pounds of orange chicken. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a long time. So this will um, kind of suffice for the orange chicken that I love from Trader Joe's. All right, I had a coupon for 50 cents off two of the Kroger veggies, frozen veggies, and so I picked up two of these breaded cut okras. I haven't seen these on the shelf in a while, so I was glad to find those. So basically, I think they were a dollar bag, and I got 50 cents off the two bags, so good deal on that. Again, this was free. This big 32 ounce pepper jack, pepper jack, you guys, Cheddar Jack shredded cheese. These were all on sale for, goodness, I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. $4.99 maybe or $5.99, but it was a good deal and I needed cheese. This was on the Markdown Rack. There was actually a lot, a lot of bread, various kinds, including bakery bread on the Markdown. This is so, so soft, 99 cents. Um, this was buy one, get one free. If you bought the Snapped, you got the Puffed for free with the e-coupon. So I did that. These were also on, no, they weren't on sale. I think this was one seventy-seven, maybe something like that. And then I had a 75 cent off e-coupon. There were a few biscuits on the shelf, just a few, absolutely none at Aldi still. So I picked up these two at Kroger. Um, I was needing to restock butter. I always buy it when it's on sale. So these were how much? One ninety-nine, I think. So I got all five that you could get five with those. Picked up a gallon of milk, 
some lettuce, and this is like the biggest head lettuce known to man, it's huge. Some purple onions. I also had a coupon for, I think 40 cents off cheese slices, and we're out of those again. Um, <clears throat> I did make a mistake. I had a 150 off two of the Nestle Toll House Break and Bake, but I didn't pay close attention, and it's if you had a grocery pickup or delivery. So, that's okay, white chocolate chip and chocolate chip, white chocolate chip macadamia nut. Um, so those will be good to have in the fridge. We love sandwich spread or ham salad. Haven't bought that in a long time. Some raspberries. The avocados were 47 cents each this time. Thank you, Super Bowl. Lots of bananas. We have a Sunday bar, ice cream Sunday bar at church on Sunday, and I signed in to bring some bananas. I picked up two pounds of the strawberries. They look great. The ones I got last week were delicious. And I've been wanting some fresh pineapple. These were $2. I got a bag of Bartlett pears. I can't remember how much those were. These were maybe $1.29 a pound and they look so good. They're really firm. All right, back here, another weekly digital deal um, up to five of these as well, Mission products. So they were $1.27 for the chips and the tortillas. So I got three bags of the chips. Those will just go in the pantry and we will eat on those whenever. And then two, two of the flour tortillas, 127 each on those. Um, since we're here, I picked up one of these. I don't think I've ever had this teriyaki beef, but for some reason it looked good. These were, if you bought three, you could get them for 1.99 each. And I'm telling you guys, these Dorito bags, I don't know what the ounces were before, but they are so little now. I mean, they have decreased the size and the ounces in those. Oh my. Um, country stuff, what did I get? Sausage, sausage flavor, oh my. I didn't mean to get that. I just thought I was getting the white country gravy. That's okay. I like to keep those in the pantry. Let's see here. Uh, it's got a recipe for skillet breakfast casserole. I was gonna say on the back of these, there's usually a recipe that sounds pretty good. All right, so you never ever see me buy beef on my channel because we have our own beef. But I've often wanted to buy this, this shaved steak. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I think it was $5.99 today, and I thought this would be a quick meal for tonight to make like Philly cheesesteaks. So I picked that up, and then these, it's a really good price. Originally $17.00 with the Kroger card 11, and then they were marked down and I got them for seven and they are the Western ribs. These are really good with sauerkraut. They're really good in the crock pot and then with some barbecue. I grew up having Western ribs. My dad really loved those. Okay, I'm running out of breath because I'm talking so fast and talking so much. Hopefully I covered everything here from Kroger. Now I'm gonna show you, oh, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Here's my total. It was $138.28. And with my savings on my Kroger card, that was $95.88 savings just by buying the sales and having coupons on my Kroger card. You cannot beat that. All right, into Aldi. All right, and now here are the few items that we got at Aldi. I will start down here. There were no um, national name brands of creamer on sale this week in my neck of the woods. These were like $1.89, I think. So I got the coconut cream and the white chocolate mocha. I have bought the coconut cream a lot of times, probably the white chocolate mocha before, but I just can't remember. So I went ahead and picked those up. I bought creamers, I think the last time, maybe in November. Um, or early December, and I stocked up on a really good sale, and I'm just now almost through my last one. That's how I like to shop, buying things that we use a lot, um, or often when they're on a really good sale. All right, I needed some Italian sausage for a recipe, some cranberry juice, apple juice. I needed these deli style hoagie rolls for the Philadelphia, what are they called? Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. You guys have a brain fry today. Um, I mentioned we're having a an ice cream sundae bar on Sunday. Um, we are also having chili. Um, we have a special speaker going to be at our church. And then our meal afterwards is chili and a sundae bar. So I signed in to bring um, corn chips as one of my things because 
a lot of people like to have that in their chili. All right, some thin wheat crackers, two boxes. Aldi had these marked down to like 74 cents. So two more of the teriyaki beef. I think this is just a different brand. Some fruit gushers and fruit snacks. I've been out of fruit snacks for a good while and my little grandson Fisher keeps reminding me that I need to buy him some fruit snacks. So I got some applesauce. James blows through this applesauce. He loves it. He also loves mandarin oranges and I haven't had any of these for a good while. And then our little grandson Finley really likes these. So I got four of those, some heavy whipping cream. And this is so cute, you guys, look at this. It's this little bandana style infinity scarf. And side note about me, I love anything with pom-poms or tassels or, um, I don't know, just anything like that I'm drawn to. So uh, this was $3 and 40 something cents. So I thought that would be really cute. So I picked that up. These have been running this package of salami like $4.50. They were like a dollar less this week, marked down. Um, I love this Parkview Turkey Polska Kielbasa. This is what I buy if I'm wanting some smoked sausage type of deal. I like the turkey in this Parkview brand. And then, okay, since we talked about bacon on the last grocery haul, the irregular sliced Jamestown, it was up in price this week from $3.19 to $3.45. And this one was $4.19, same price as this one was last week. Um, also, the Jamestown was out. There was nothing on the shelf. Now, my husband definitely likes this Appleton Farms, the premium sliced. He loves the flavor of this one. And I will say this, keep in mind, if you buy something that you don't like the first time around, like meat, for instance, you do realize, you know, they are coming from different animals every time. So you may have you know, some bacon that you don't like one time, but the next time you may. Just, you know, they're processing beef and chicken and pork um, to get all this. Same with fruit. You may say, oh, I love, I only buy Kroger fruit. It's better than Aldi fruit. Just keep in mind, there's various things that affect the fruit, times of the year, you know, where it was picked, all these things. So I, I'm open for giving things a try. Um, especially if there's some variables and you're going to always have variables in meat, fruit, and veggies. If that makes any sense. All right, let's see. I picked up these dark chocolate sea salt caramels for James for Valentine's Day, as well as this dark chocolate orange almond. He loves dark chocolate. These were actually marked down, I think a dollar. And then I've never seen this before. I'm sure it's been there, but I don't often look at their chocolate, but I had to pick this one up, this coconut macaroon. I have like worn my throat out talking to y'all about these groceries. So um, that will conclude this grocery haul. Now next week, since I bought so much stuff this week, I wasn't necessarily planning to, but when these sales, and if you'll notice around certain events or whatever, there's gonna be some sales. That's kind of how it was today. So I took advantage of that and got some things that we use regularly at a great price. Oh, I don't know if I said this the Gordo's cheese dip. I got that at Aldi this time. <clears throat> All right, guys, I really have worn out my throat. I am calling it quits. Thanks for watching. Come back for the next one, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.